We had all the updates, man. Earlier today, positive news, positive discussions, everything positive about Quinn Hughes and Elias Pettersson. Darren Dreger, just about an hour and 40 minutes ago, said, further to our report on insider trading, things continue to heat up in Vancouver in negotiations on Petey and Hughes. Give it just a few more minutes. And Satir Shah, half an hour ago, said that he's hearing Hughes is nearing a six-year deal worth slightly above 7.75 7.75 per year with the Vancouver Canucks. Now, six years, that's great. It takes him all the way to one year past UFA status, so we buy one UFA year at $7.75 million a season. And then, after this tweet was made, we were kind of like, okay, crap. We heard all the stuff about Petey and Hughes and how the agents, you know, they have the same agency. They're doing this negotiation together. They're likely going to have themselves a result sent out at the same time, you know, when the Vancouver Canucks make the tweet about when the signing happens and when it's all official and all that, it'll probably be both Hughes and Petey together. So at this point, we were like, okay, there's one. That's one. I had just a great half an hour dinner today where I was just scrolling up on my Twitter feed the entire time looking for updates. Irfan Gaffar, next up, said that he believes Elias Pettersson will be a three-year deal. This is important. Guess what the original comparables were for Elias Pettersson? Braden Point, Matthew Barzal, three-year deals right there. EP40 is kind of going in the same boat over here with this being the case. Irfan Gaffar then said a little bit later, he is hearing it'll be under $8 million on a three-year deal. AAV. Dude! If you were to go out there, get Elias Pettersson to under $8 million, it means that the Vancouver Canucks went out there and actually got him to sign the contract that they wanted him to sign in the first place. Matthew Barzal being the comparable, he got, what was it, seven, fourteen, twenty-one million $21 million on a three-year deal, AAV7. Pretty good, right? Elias Pettersson going out here with $8 million being, or excuse me, under $8 million being the three-year deal, actually makes a lot of sense. In my mind, when I saw the initial tweet about Quinn Hughes, I was thinking, okay, we had about $16 million-ish in cap space, 19 or 18 if you want to say Hamannick is going to be included there, which we're not going to say for the sake of argument. $16 million able to go over the cap right here. And if Quinn Hughes is going to go out there getting 7.75 on six years, If you're going to go out there and get EP40 to 3, I would honestly predict the contract to be under 8. I said that in the middle of dinner as I was scrolling up and down on my phone. All of a sudden, Arfan Gafar says it's under 8. And then we have the bigger update here. It is from Rick Dollywall. Pedersen could be 3 times 7.7. And boy... Dude, this is so, so exhilarating. Because... When you take a look at what exactly it was Canucks fans were expecting out of this, everybody was talking about, oh, you want to go five years, you want to go eight years, you want to go six years, you want to do a bridge. This right here is a bridge that the Vancouver Canucks can look at and say, yeah, that's not an overpayment. You know, Elias Pettersson, if he is the best he can be, he is going to be about, let's say, eight and a half, nine million dollars worth And three years still keeps Petey as an RFA when this contract expires, which is an absolute game changer. It's a game changer. Petey is betting on himself here going short term. Okay, three years take me till I'm, what, 24, 25 years old. I'll still be an RFA. So there still will be that exclusive negotiating right with the Vancouver Canucks. And the Canucks then could lock him up to a longer term deal if they feel it is fit. However, I will say this. It is kind of funny. If Petey gets 7x7 seven seven and Quinn Hughes gets 7.75, slightly above 7.75, Hughes is going to be the most expensive player in this team. Right? Like, dude, that's actually kind of nuts the way that goes down. But at the end of the day, I never really had myself too much of an idea that they would go super expensive. Like, I know everybody liked to meme about and say, okay, if you sign PD to an eight-year deal, you're getting him on a 10 million something AAV contract, right? But just based off of what the Canucks had to work with and their overall salary cap structure, I was kind of thinking, okay, if the Canucks can get Hughes to anything under eight with term, just based off of the Makars and the Heiskanens and the Hamiltons and the Joneses and the Warinskis and all the other guys that had gotten paid this offseason, anything under eight is a win. 
And because Hughes is in that position where it's like, oh, defensively, you know, defensively, he's not this, he's not that, he's got to improve defensively. It's like, okay, we know he's got to improve, but what's the odds that he does? It's quite high, in my opinion, just based off the talent that Quinn Hughes is. So six years until 2020, what, 2027, 2028, at 7.75 AAV compared to the other contracts in the league that defenseman got, this is a steal. This is an absolute bargain. But just going off of this number right here, I'm not surprised hearing from the guys like Dollywall that Pedersen could be 7.7 .7 AAV especially since the length is three years and it is the original comparable that we had for guys like Barzal and Point and all that other very good elite caliber centers in the National Hockey League. So this appears to be it. If this isn't it, then we'll go ahead and update in the comments what exactly goes down and what the numbers are then. But talk to me in the comments. What do you think about Quinn Hughes? Six years, $7.75 million a season or just over. So if we do the math on that, 7.75 multiplied out by 6, that's about 46.5 million bucks right there. For Elias Pettersson, you're going to have to do 7, 14, 21, 2.1 million, 9.1-ish million dollars until 2020, what, 2024, 2025, yeah? He's an RFA still. Right? That's going to be crazy. Talk to me in the comments. What do you think of you enjoyed this video of Rolls 99? And bye.